Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Paramount Residential Mortgage Group. In today's mortgage environment, providing our wholesale community with the best combination of product, pricing, technology, and service is paramount to their success. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Welcome to another edition of Master of the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highways, created exclusively for NMP TV, and it's brought to you by our friends at PRMG who are working for your best interest. Is it about to be December already? Oh my goodness. Another jobs week coming up this week. Months just seem to roll by. Now this jobs number will, as they all are, be a very important one for us. Wednesday ADP and on Friday, we will get the big BLS jobs number. This is gonna be an important one because they're expecting the unemployment rate to continue to drop. But the last couple of weeks, we've seen an actual move up in those asking for unemployment benefits for the first time. So first, first signs that things are leveling off, we're not seeing that huge level of improvement. So because of that, if we do get a disappointing jobs number, that could help mortgage-backed securities. The other thing we're going to get is more news on housing, which has just been on fire. You know, we've been telling you for a very long time that the housing market is going to be strong. So many naysayers out there didn't believe us, but sure enough, look how powerful the housing market is. And we're going to get pending home sales. That's signed contracts this week. So I anticipate it to be just, it probably would be better, but the limited inventory will limit the amount of transactions, but it will be a very strong number. Speaking of strong numbers, last week we got appreciation numbers on housing and up 7% in real appreciation year over year. This is different than the median home price on existing homes, which is up 15.5%. That's not appreciation. Don't worry about affordability. The real level of appreciation is this 7% number. Now, some people are going to say, hey, well, incomes aren't keeping up with that. We see hourly earnings not really keeping up. Go by weekly earnings. That's up 5.7%. And while those are close, they don't have to be at, on par with each other because you don't use all of your income to pay for housing. You use a fraction of income to pay for housing. So there's a multiplier there. So you could probably see 15, 20% appreciation. And as long as interest rates remain the same, homes will still be getting more affordable, believe it or not, as they have been. Now, mortgage applications came out last week. 70% of all applications refinances. Not a big surprise. Rates are about a percent lower than they than where they were. But you know, even purchases are up 20% from last year. And think about how incredible that is with the lack of inventory. Just goes to show how powerful the housing numbers are. And as far as mortgage-backed securities, they got a little bit of a boost from the fact that we got very low uh, inflation numbers last week. We got the PC, the personal consumption expenditure. The Fed loves this number. It's their favorite number. So we actually saw the headline number drop by one tenth of a percent. And the core, which is what the Fed really focuses on, dropped by two tenths of a percent, all the way down to annualized inflation of 1.2. Now the Fed's been trying forever to get us up to 2%, not happening. One other thing about the the, uh, the markets that gave mortgage bonds a little bit of a boost was Janet Yellen. Janet Yellen being named, you remember her as the Fed chair, she was named as the next treasury secretary. So get used to seeing her signature on money that'll come on out, new printed bills will have her signature on it, Janet Yellen. Now she wasn't the greatest Fed chair. I don't think she's gonna be a great treasury secretary, but let's pray for her and wish her well. Now she is an ultra dove, so there's never been a spend that, that she doesn't like. So this could mean that the stock market will get a tailwind from this, but also mortgage backed securities could be the beneficiary because she can bless some of the things the Fed wants to do with making more purchases of things like mortgage bonds. So we'll have to see how it plays out. All interesting stuff. There are some important things going on, technically speaking now. The 10-year treasury is at a level where if it can get just a little bit lower, it's on a floor here. If it gets a little bit lower, we'll see a move back under 80 basis points. Right now it's about 86 basis points. So watch for it. If it does move lower, you'll get a nice drop down to about 78 basis points. And hey, listen, if you're not on MBS Highway, I mean, really, are, are you kidding me? And all the money that you're making in this business, and if you're not making that much money, it's probably because you're not on MBS Highway. So why don't you get on it? Stop being beat by your competitors who have this tool. who are beating you. Be a better servant to your customers and protect your business into the future. While things are great now, smart people always try to see the future before it becomes obvious. You know all these fintech companies will be coming after you. You know competition's getting tougher. Make sure that you protect yourself today 
by being an MBS Highway member. Talk to you soon. Bye. PRMG continues to provide our wholesale partners across the nation with better technology, better product, better pricing, and better service. Our nationally recognized brand is more than just an image. It is a symbol of integrity. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Be sure to click on the link below for your free 30-day MBS Highway Trial.